Blackbeard the Pirate is notorious for terrorizing the Crystal Coast. WNCT's Bailey Martin tells us how he's coming back to life 300 years after his death. 300 years ago this month, the Queen Anne's Revenge ran aground here on the Crystal Coast, beginning the downfall of the most notorious pirate of the time. Now, the North Carolina Maritime Museum is telling his story. Visitors to the museum's newly expanded Queen Anne's Revenge exhibit will learn the truth about pirates like Blackbeard. There's no great pirate treasure. They were smugglers, they were gun runners, they did whatever they had to do. And about the history behind how they got started. These were men that had been raised in the Navy. And all of a sudden, they just got let go. And that was their, well, their talent was in naval combat. So they turned that talent to something that would support them, and that was piracy. The exhibit aims to challenge popular opinions on pirates. He was a terror. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't a pirate that long, but he certainly probably, I would say, one of the most well-known pirates when you look at pirate history. And show how they influence North Carolina's history. Their role in North Carolina's economic development, their role in area history, very significant. So hopefully, when people come in to see this exhibit, that's some of the things they'll learn. And how their legend continues to impact Beaufort. But this represents part of the rich and long history of, of Beaufort, and this is just a great addition. The museum offers free admission to all visitors. You can check the exhibit out for yourself starting tomorrow right here at the Maritime Museum. In Beaufort, Bailey Martin, 9 on your side.